<laughs> hello, hello. Can you hear me okay, Dad? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay, cool. Live and direct. That's what I like to hear. Hi. Welcome to... Oh, I didn't put on any lotion, y'all. Good Lord. Hi, I'm Lena. I'm the voice behind the hands, behind all things Mighty Made It. Uh, welcome to Bedtime Crafting. So in when this started out, it was, um, you know, I'd put my daughter down to bed and I'd steal some time to do some crafting. Um, these days, my sweet, sweet, sweet munchkin is not, uh, she doesn't go to bed at nine o'clock. Um, she's three. So right now I have her occupied watching a little bit of TV so mommy can spend a little bit of time with you guys. I'm going to give us a little bit more time uh, at about 9.03, 9.04. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, today we'll be making drink stirs, right? These cute little, oh yes, thanks dad. Can I pin it? Yes, pin comment, pow. There you go. Uh, my dad has graciously, uh, you know, my distant tech support has, uh, pinned my website. You can find me at www.mightymadeit.com. There I have a shop, a blog. Um, and then if you'd like to commission me for any custom calligraphy projects, that is where you do it. Um, you can follow me here on Instagram at Mighty Made It. Uh, also on Facebook. Well, let's see, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. It's all at Mighty Made It. So uh, I appreciate you guys spending a little bit of time with me this evening and let's hop into it. So these wonderful little drink stirs are actually inspired by a calligraphy book, a uh, callig uh, learn lettering book called By Hand. Um, and I'm always looking for, you know, projects or inspiration on ways to use calligraphy. That's not just like, that's not just wedding art, like wedding stationery or, you know, invitations. Like what are ways that we could bring like that hand lettered touch to things that we do on the regular? Um, I can say that I like to drink responsibly. And so sometimes, you know, when we're having a mixer now that, you know, a lot of, for a lot of our states, whether begrudgingly or not, the stay at home order has been lifted. So that means, you know, you may have a small social gathering. And in addition to not wanting to give yourself COVID-19, you want to be able to tell everybody's drinks apart. So I've made these very fancy drink stirs. So this one says, not mine's. This one is theirs. Uh, not yours. Not theirs. Yours. It was his, hers, not hers, not his. So those are all of them that I had lettered. Um, and so just to give you guys a little bit of the walkthrough on this process, we're gonna do this project two ways. So the first thing I did, if you have an iPad, uh, the app that I use when I'm lettering digitally is called Procreate. What's the matter, Amelia? Um, and in Procreate, my daughter's, she's, she's doing the thing that she does. So in Procreate, you're going to letter your words. I'm using, Procreate is an app that's exclusive to Apple products um, and it's $9.99. And with that $9.99, you get, um, oh no, I don't wanna warp it, I want to undo that. You get this super awesome, like it's a great, great tool, super powerful um, <clears throat> tool that allows you to it's one way that you can letter digitally and I'm having all the technical difficulties. Okay. So just to give you guys an idea of what these look like, they are separated out by layers, right? So it's hers, not hers, his, not his. Um, <clears throat> so all of these things are, I've lettered in Procreate. Oh no. You guys, I'm having all the technical difficulties, right? And here comes my sweet, sweet child. 
Um, so all these things I've lettered individually in Procreate. I'm trying to move them around so you can get an idea for everything that I lettered. Amelia, what's the problem? You what? Okay, I don't. She doesn't want to something something. I don't know. I don't know. She. Anybody? Any other parents out there? Like your kid will say something to you, and you be like, okay, you don't have to do that, but you don't know what they said in the first place. It might just be me. That's okay. All right. And so I'm trying to get. Amelia, come here. I feel like she's like stuck her stuck a body part in something. What's the problem? Because I'm cereal. You want some cereal? You had chicken nuggets and applesauce. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Do you can you um mm -hmm. here. Did the did your show go off? Yeah. Okay. Do you need mommy to turn your show back on? Yeah. Okay. Can you guys can you all bear with me? I'll be right back. I have a toddler that needs some TV. <clears throat> but you guys can um, bask in the glory of my lettering while I go get her situated. Yeah. Come on. Let's go to the front. <clears throat> let's go, let's go. Fetch it. Why are you angry? Let's go, come on. I don't know. I, you know, she, she's just, she's just, I don't even know. <clears throat> so, thank you, Dad. I am the oldest of my brothers and sisters. Okay. Hi, welcome back. I'm Lena. I'm a mom of a three-year-old. <laughs> and I try really hard to be like, you know, not frustrated or like a little embarrassed or overwhelmed with parenting, but it's real out here. So, um, just to give you guys a, a bit of a walk through how these all came together. I'm going to start up, I'm going to open up a new layer. I did create some grid lines for myself. I'm going to hide the rest of these. So I'm going to move this up. So just to give you a little bit about the tools I'm using, I'm using a, an iPad sixth generation. So it's the first iPad that was compatible with the Apple pencil. And then the first generation Apple Pencil. So this is like the first rundown of the um, Apple Pencil. So in Procreate, they have a lot of like a lot of settings, a lot of tools, features, bells and whistles. I'm really big on project based learning. So I learn to use my tools as I need them, right? Like <laughs> I need this feature. Let's see if this can do this. So with Procreate, we're going to turn on our drawing guide. And right now I have mine set to 44 for no other reason than I like even numbers. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm using, so this brush, I named it Furunosuke Practice because the Tombow brush pens are some of my favorite, the Tombow dual tip brush pens and the Tombow Furunosuke brush pens are some of my favorites. Um, so I have set, I have brushes that I've created and procreate that kind of mimic my brushes that I like in real life. So this is the one that I use to letter all of those. And so let's say if you wanted to, a set of drink stirs. Hello, hello. 
named specifically for, you know, the people that you have coming to the party. Um, I'm going to name, I'm going to use one of my friends who has a, I really, I really love, I love her name. I love writing her name. It's really pretty. Her name is Felicity. And so that's going to look something like this. Well, no, it's not because that brush is set to huge. I'm going to reset this. I feel like my brush is really big. Because it is. Okay. There we go. All right. You guys can see that. Cool. And so when you're lettering, you'll learn that it's not just... Um, it's not just the tools that do the fancy things. It's actually technique. Uh, if you watched last week's um, live video, which wouldn't let me save to Instagram, but I was able to save it to, um, I was able to upload it to YouTube. Uh, it's my intro to brush lettering crash course. So that's available on my web, my YouTube page. And actually, so it's the same thing. Mighty made it, M-I-G-H-T-E. M A D E I T. So that's right. This is the name, right? Beautiful, beautiful. So now it's like, well, Lena, how do I take this from here and get it here? Let's talk about it. So, one of the other things that you can do with Procreate is export. So, we're going to export this, we're going to upload it into Cricut Design Space. Uh, I have two Cricut machines one is the Cricut Explore Air. Air 2, and then I also have the Cricut Maker. Both machines are great in their own right. The Maker has a little bit more bells and whistles, and if you're interested in cutting things like basswood or really thin woods, I recommend the Maker, but for like simple paper crafts, or you know, if you're new, you know, new to crafting, but you wanna, you wanna treat yourself, you go ahead and get yourself a Cricut Explore Air 2. So, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna tap this handy dandy little screwdriver, and share and I just want just this PNG so I'm actually going to turn this background off so that you guys can see what I'm doing I'm going to turn my drawing guy off so you can see it boop there it is right there so this is what we are going to export so I'm going to go tap here share PNG <clears throat> Now, when you're exporting in the iPad, it does allow you to... This looks beautiful. This is my first time watching you. I'll start watching you on YouTube. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, there's new videos on YouTube every Saturday. They drop Saturdays at 9 a.m. So, um, you can save image. So, for the sake of time, because I want to show you guys another way to do this project that's low-tech. Um, so we're going to tap save image and that's going to save it directly to our iPad. So what you're going to do is open Cricut Design Space, right? I've got all the apps under the sun. I'm going to sign in. I can't show you guys my password. That's top secret information. Top life security of the world is my password. Um, not now. So I've already got the canvas set up. Um, so I'm not going to do too much of a walkthrough. Like I'm going to walk you through it. I'm just, I'm thinking out loud. So my projects in the cloud. And so Cricut, this is a, I've been working on this, like on my laptop, like at work, on my phone, just to make sure I got it all together. So I could really walk you guys through everything. Um, hello, hello. Okay. Oh, I guess you can't do that. I will boot. All right, so now I'm gonna have to do it the other way since. So we're gonna open up a new canvas. I'm gonna tap upload. We're gonna select from photo library because that's where I saved it. All photos right there, pow. So one of the things it's gonna do, it gives you a chance to clean it up. So you can erase the spaces that you don't want. But because I uploaded this, as a um, as a PNG with no background, I don't have to do a lot of cleanup work with this. So we're gonna tap next. 
So it kind of smooths it out, right? Like it gives you this weird sort of like little chunky look. But for right now, for the sake of swiftly moving through this, we're going to do it this way. But normally what I would do is I would export it from Procreate into Adobe Illustrator. That way, when I create my digital files, they're just, I create beautiful work, okay, in, <laughs> in Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. I can say that I'm very proud of myself with that. But for right now, for the sake of moving through this, we're going to do this this way. So I want to save it as, I'm going to save it as a cut image because one of the things that you can do is flatten it and it'll become a print and cut image. I have been doing calligraphy for three years. Uh, my daughter will be four. So, you know, I'm, I've been doing a calligraphy as long as she's been on the planet um, as a way to kind of to cope with postpartum depression and anxiety. So, you know, the joys of parenting, right? Oh, the... The things you didn't know, you didn't know. So we, we've got that. So the other thing we need to add is actually this shape, right? This, this ribbon shape. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made that. I've, pra I've been practicing my dip pen calligraphy. It's okay, um, but I'm not comfortable showing that off yet. So when I get ready, when I get better at showing that off, oh, I'll be unstoppable. So what you're going to do, we're going to tap shapes. I'll make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Tap shapes. And so we're going to use two shapes, a square and a triangle. So I'm going to move my triangle out the way and I'm going to resize our square. So I'm going to tap edit. I'm going to tap this little lock to unlock it because my proportions are not locked. So I'm just going to be six inches wide and one inch high. All right, we're going to zoom in. It seems really small, but that's because my canvas is. Yes, I do this. This is going to be my new mommy. I'm trying to tell you. These uh, the mommy outlets are so real. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to zoom in my canvas. First, I'm going to undo resizing that because that was weird. I'm going to lock these proportions. Here we go. All right. And so now Cricut allows you to do a couple things with their software. So I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees because I'm going to resize it so that I can slice it out. So I'm going to make this a height of one inch. And I'm going to select the both of these actions. Where's my align at? Edit, maybe? Yes, haha. -ha. Align. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to align it to the left. So center, no, I'm going to center it in the middle and then I'm going to align left. So that way I should probably make these two different colors so that you can better see them. I'm going to change the color on that to this red color apply. Hello, Reynard, how are you? So, um, now that I've got these two shapes, I'm going to go ahead actions. I'm going to tap slice. It's going to think. And then what you're going to have, what? It took the handy dandy little chunk right out of there. So I'm going to tap this again, edit. I'm going to flip this horizontally, move this down here, select the both of these. Wait, there's a, first of all, that's my dad, you moon head. This, that Reynard is the, the best man in my wedding. Okay, uh, and he is, he indeed has no home training. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap this. I'm gonna align, <laughs> align it in the middle and to the right. Again, I'm gonna tap this handy dandy, uh, tap this handy dandy tool, and then I'm gonna tap slice. And so again, right now we've got our ribbon on both sides. So I'm gonna select all of these and delete it and so now i've got this i've got her name i've got my ribbon so now what i need to do is uh get this name in here so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move this over here out the way Mommy. Mommy. yes amelia
Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to Bedtime Crafting Resumed, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'll give us a couple more minutes for some people to trickle in, and then I guess I can kind of pick up where I left off. Um, hello, hello. Well, hey, Jada, how are you, sweet pea? Um, welcome, welcome. This is uh, Bedtime Crafting 2.0. My sweet, sweet child had a whole meltdown. Um, and so I had to do some mommying, so I had to pause my initial video. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so now we're here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, give us about two more minutes, and I'll go ahead and pick it back up. All right, well, my name is Lena. Uh, You're listening to the voice behind the hands, behind all things Mighty Made It. I am a, I'm Chicago's crafty calligrapher mama. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, all Mighty Made It. I also have a YouTube channel that uh, I release new videos every Tuesday. Uh, every Tuesday, that is a, that's a, not the truth. I release new videos every Saturday. Uh, they drop at 9 a.m. every Saturday. So you get four brand new videos a month. If you are interested in learning about brush lettering, my intro to brush lettering crash course live from last week is now up and available on my YouTube channel. Uh, with anything that I have on my page or on any of my you know respective sites. <laughs> Okay, Jada, I can help you with your graduation cap. Um, wherever you guys um, are following me, oh, you guys can follow me on all the platforms. I'm everywhere, and it's Mighty Made It. I'm trying to pin this comment. I am having, I am having a night, okay? So just to kind of proceed to where we're going. So tonight I'm making these handy dandy drink stirs. Um, and so these feature, these are made with the Cricut print and cut feature. Uh, so I'm walking you right now. Uh, I left off doing a walkthrough with the Cricut print and cut. Um, so we're going to pick up there, but this is going to be the finished project using it this way. And then I have another low tech way to make the same thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue kind of where I left off. So what I did just to catch us all up, uh, I have the iPad sixth generation which is the first ipad that was compatible with the apple pencil and i have a first generation right i did say drink the first generation um apple pencil and i'm using procreate on the ipad this is an app exclusive to apple devices um it's 9.99 in the app store it's a one-time fee um so you don't really have to worry about like it's not a subscription based anything you know you buy it it's yours so what I've done is, let me change my, so that you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I lettered this using the brush calligraphy brush set to, the streamline is set to 100%. And the size is about, what is this, 3, 3%. Um, and so I've lettered it, exported it as a, PN, as a ping file or a PNG file. I saved it to my device and uploaded it to Cricut Design Space. Um, and so I can actually do a, a brief walkthrough of how I got this ribbon shape. So what I did was I used, I'm going to tap, oh, I need to make sure you guys can see what I'm looking at. So we're going to tap shapes. I used two shapes, a triangle and a square. My square shape, I resized it to one inch by six inches. So I'm going to... It's still not letting me pin this comment. I'm medium stressed out about it. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this. I'm going to unlock my dimensions. So I want this six inches wide and one inch high. So I'm going to go ahead and lock those back. And then here I'm going to rotate this, change the color on it, just so you guys can differentiate what, with, um, with what pieces that I'm using. <laughs> hey Chrissy, I'm going to 
go ahead I'm going to rearrange these a little bit so you can get a better idea for how they come together um, so I'm going to send this to the back arrange send to back and my triangle I'm going to resize because right now as you guys can see it's like three inches by three inches I don't need a triangle that high so I'm going to go ahead change it to one inch it's going to do that magic thing and so you could do this one or two ways right you could either like you know click and drag to make sure that it aligns perfectly or you can select the both of those tap your actions oh I was wrong edit align I want to align them to the middle and then align left so when you do that and tap this handy dandy tool or action called slice it's gonna allow you to create that cool little triangle ribbon shape on the side so I'm gonna select this red triangle hello hello and I'm gonna flip this horizontally and instead of drag using the align tool actually I'll use it so I'm gonna tap those two align I'm gonna send them send them to the middle and then align right and then I'm gonna come back to my actions and tap slice now because I'm working from the iPad I use the when I created these I was on my PC and I was using um, so this one the ones that I, I didn't finish so this one is filled with a pattern um, I changed the changed the lettering to white flattened it all and it gives you this cute little print and cut scenario right it's adorable oh my gosh it's so cute I can't take it um, but because I'm on the iPad it, the Cricut design space on the iPad does not allow you to fill with patterns so I'm going to have to, uh, when I upload this video, I'm going to have to cut it. Thank you. I'm going to have to cut in um, how you can do this from your PC. So uh, now that I've sliced it, right, I got this wonderful little ribbon situation. So I'm going to go ahead. We can delete these. Uh, edit. And I lied. I'm just going to tap them and hit, click that handy dandy little X. I'm going to delete this too because that's the exact same thing I did with this one. But now we're going to zoom in. So I know that this is, my ribbon is still six inches even though I cut some parts out of it. So I want this to be about, oh right, it's about two, it's 2.6 inches wide and it's 1.4 inches, 1.04 inches wide, which is a bit too tall for our ribbon. So I'm going to scale that down just a little bit, let's say 0.95, right? So now I'm going to change the color on this. I'm going to make it a cute color, right? So I'm going to change it to, let's see, I'm going to do this pretty green. And then I'm going to change, so I'm going to select this, actions, and then I'm just going to center it, right? So it's going to actually edit, align, and I'm going to send it to the middle. That way I know that her name is sitting perfectly centered inside of this design. So, I actually, I'm probably going to make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to go 2.25 because why not? So, I'm going to select the both of those again, align, middle, and I'm going to move her name over just a little bit. And I'm also going to change the color of this, right? Because right now, this is going to imagine, right, this is going to cut this out of two different pieces. We don't quite want that to happen, but we'll cross, I'll explain that more a little bit about that a little later. So I'm going to change this. Let's say I want this to be, what's the opposite of green? It's red. So I'm going to do this pretty little, like, you know, eh, maybe not. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to do yellow apply yes yes I like the green and the yellow as you can see these are actually the same colors I use for this just in reverse so I'm going to duplicate this actions duplicate and I'm going to move this over here so now if you guys can see I have a mini problem right and the problem is that oh no the names they're overlapping so I'm going to scale the both of those down a little bit but before I do that I'm going to go edit align middle just to make sure it's all sitting right in the middle tap this name gonna scale this down a little bit more with we're just gonna make it two inches even two inches even all 
All right. So I'm going to select those again, like just because I'm, I'm nervous about it. I'm going to make sure that they're sitting right in the middle. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select two of those because you can't select them all at the same time. I'm going to tap actions, flatten. So when it prints on my printer, that's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go actions. I told the story. All right, it's edit, arrange send to back and that's going to move it all the way to the back and I'm going to select those two options two things again actions flatten pow now we have it so that it's set up like this right so it can when you're using the print and cut feature with your Cricut you can cut up to 6.75 by 9.25 inches right like that's your your rectangle size so the six ribbons the six of these that I cut out all fit inside of that space but this wonderful thing right here, right? This perfect fold in the middle. Well, how did I get that? Uh, I'm gonna show you. So that I actually used the score tool on my Cricut and that's gonna, before it cuts it out, you're gonna print it out and then you're gonna put it on your mat. It's gonna cut it out and then it's gonna score it in the middle so that you can just easily kind of like fold and keep it pushing. But how did I do that? So you're gonna tap shapes and I wanna add a line. Now, when it's, when it's like this, that line is a score line. It's gonna tell it, don't cut it, just score it. Press down on the paper a little bit just to give you just enough pressure so that you can fold it perfectly. So we're gonna select all of those actions. Actually, I'm gonna go edit, align. I wanna center it. So it's gonna do, it's gonna do all that work for me. I don't have to align it horizontally or vertically the Cricut Design Space does all that thinking for me. So I'm gonna shrink this, actually, I'm gonna make that a height of one inch because that's how tall our whole project is. Align, center, bow. So I'm gonna, that's all done, attach. So now, all right, imagine if you have a group of six or eight people, you could go ahead, duplicate these, change the names, or if you wanted to, you could I'm going to show you, I'm going to do this one other way, and then I'm going to move on into the, the analog way, because now my wheels are turning. <laughs> We're crafting in real time. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to undo that attaching. You could either undo it, or you could select it and detach it, which makes more sense. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to unflatten it. Uh, move you out the way. Unflatten it and move you out the way. So another way you could do this would just be to add some text. Cricut, you've got some Cricut fonts. I'm going to use my system fonts because if you're not paying for Cricut uh, access, some of the fonts that you're going to have access to, you're going to have to pay for. So again, I'm on my iPad, so I'm just using what I have. We're going to use the same name. I'm going to spell it correctly. Boom. So we've got this name. So we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking to this because it's, it's a little ugly. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to center it. Letter space. Make that a handy dandy zero. Eh, let's make it one. All right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, scale this down to about two inches like we did the other one. But really, I'm doing it this way just to show you that there are other ways to do it. But if I was doing this for real, for real, this one, this first one, that's the one. This is the one that I would use, no questions, hands down. But I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys, you know, gave you options. So we go ahead, we're going to change this to the pretty yellow. Apply. We're going to go ahead, select all of this. Well, we're going to duplicate this, duplicate the name. And here we go. Move that there like that. What is it that Auntie Tablet says? Like so, like so, like that. So we're going to go ahead and move this right there, like so, like that. Move this over here, like so, like that. Right, right. Oh, well, I told the story because that's a little off center. 
I'm really doing it this way is kind of boring. So we're going to go ahead, select the two of those, flatten it, select the two of those again, flatten it, pow, boom. So we've done the same thing, but you, if you don't have like your letter in your hand, because that's your business, exactly. If you don't have it, um, if you don't have the lettering or, you know, whatever, whatever, that's another way that you can do the exact same thing. So then you're going to go ahead, send it to Cricut's going to do its magic, and then you're going to have these wonderful things. So, Helena, how do you assemble this? So, how I did it, I bought these, the celebrated, so these are like the treat sticks from Michael's. This is the pack of the six inch sticks, the pack of 100. So, you're going to go ahead, once you print, cut, and you take it off your mat, how I've assembled them is I'm going to hit it with a little hot glue right here in the center. Fix it, Jeebus. Oh, so I unplug. Y'all, let me tell you. Have kids, they said. It'd be fun, they said. My, my sweet child embarrassed me in real time on Beyonce's internet. And here I am trying to hot glue with a cold glue gun. Anyhow. So... As I wait for my hot glue gun to heat up, I'm going to walk you guys through how to do this in the analog way. So what I have, so if you're going to use, like if you're making a mistake, um, if you, even if you're using a black pen, a white pen is super handy. Uh, it's like, think of it like white out, but it's not white out. So you're going to need, you, you may need a white pen to hide your mistakes. <laughs> I'm using my Tombow Furunosuke pen. Uh, this is the soft tip, hard tip. I think this is soft tip. I don't know. We'll find out in a second. And then handy dandy jelly rolls because why not? Because this one, let me tell you, the glitter on this one is so pretty. I'm going to just do a little bit of, right, glitter. Watch it. You see it? Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. I quit. So let me, <laughs> let me not be as excited as I am, right? So uh, the tool that I'm going to be using, oh, no. The tool that I'm going to be using is called the We Are Memory Keepers Cut and Scoreboard. Now, I think as a paper trimmer, Fiskars, my Fiskars paper trimmer, like it's, that's, that's the GOAT. If you are looking for a paper trimmer recommendation, I recommend without a shadow of a doubt, the Fiskars paper trimmer. However, uh, the Fiskars paper trimmer isn't a cut and scoreboard. So to cut and score in one fell swoop, we got to use the We Are Memory Keepers. We Are Memory Keepers cut and scoreboard. So I got mine from. Actually, don't have me tell you a story. I think I got mine from Tuesday morning. Um, yeah, I think I yeah I'm pretty sure I got it from Tuesday morning. I had gone because I'm in a craft group. And they were just like, oh, let me tell you guys what I found at Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning. And I'm just like, well, let me take a field trip to this Tuesday morning, see what they're talking about. I found this thing for like $9.99. I got it for something stupid. It was all stupid steel. Anyway, um, so I'm going to be using the, uh, oh, let me lift my tripod up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers cut and scoreboard. And this cardstock that I'm using is Nina, uh, 110 pound cardstock. I got it off of Amazon, like a ream of paper for like 20 bucks. So what you're going to do, you're going to measure. So the cut and scoreboard, the trim and scoreboard is just that. So you're going to flip this out so that you can trim. And then we're going to flip that back when we're ready to score. Does that make sense to everybody? You need me to do that again? Thumbs up, let me know we're good to continue. All right, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna assume that all made sense. So our strips are gonna be cut two ways. Like I said, they're one inch by six inches. I'm gonna keep that math because I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead, flip that back so that we can cut. I'm gonna come so we've got, also I realize that I may be measuring backwards, but that's okay. So we've got one inch. So 
So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just trim this down into one inch strips. And then I'll score once we have a couple of them. That's two. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Tonight we're making drink stirs or hand letter drink stirs. We did them one way using Cricut print and cut, uh, which gave us these beauties. Ooh. But I'm also providing a low tech option. So that's what we're working through now using the We Are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard. So because this paper is what the like the standard eight and a half by eleven, you can get eight <laughs> eight and a half bottles of <laughs> eight and a half drink stirs out of here. Um, I really like I like this the scoreboard. I feel like I'm like I had never really had a reason to score, right? I don't I didn't think I ever had a reason to score, and then I got my cricket and I said, oh, this is fancy. Um, and then I saw Damask Love use a trim and scoreboard. I'm just like, I'll never have a reason. I'll never need that. I'm okay. And then, you know, capitalism. I was shopping and just had to have one. And so I got one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this last one down a size because I'm not interested in wasting a sheet of paper. I'm just going to leave that the way it is. So that I can walk you guys through the scoring. So with the scoring, you're going to go ahead and flip this back. You can bring this back down. It has a scoring tool. So this, the scoring tool is really like a super dull butter knife. Um, I also have the, like you could use, if you have, this has been through the fire, but if you have like a, a, a short, a, uh, blunt edge I guess so you could use the scoring tool the Cricut scoring tool which is great but if you don't have that you can use the back side of a butter knife tell them Lena sent you so what we're going to do now we actually need to cut these down to size too I played myself so because I said they're one inches by six inches so I'm going to go ahead and flip that back Uh -oh. And I'm just going to do oh, balls. And this is what I mean by this is not a very great paper trimmer because I run into that issue a lot. Like when I'm just, when I'm cutting with this thing, I just, oh. Like I said, if you're looking for a, like an excellent paper trimmer, I highly recommend the Fiskars paper trimmer. It's super reliable. Um, I love it very much. Again, that's if you're on the market for paper trimmer so now that I've got this one trimmed I'm gonna go ahead and get myself situated to score and I'm gonna score at the three inch line so this is six inches so I'm gonna bring this go ahead and sit down so I can see what I'm doing bring this back and then I'm gonna score right here at the three inch line Oh man, of course you guys didn't see that. All right, so now you guys can see it's a little groove there because I went ahead, I lined it up so that the three inches falls right in the middle. I'm gonna use my scoring tool to kind of get down in that groove like so, like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and fold it. All right, I, I realized I didn't score that as perfectly as I would like. But, you know, I'm crafting live, you guys. It's not always going to be perfect. Whoops. But when I go to write this blog post and tutorial, you better believe I'm going to have the perfection down. So this is now, like, now that we have our... Right, thank you, thank you. Now that we have this all cut out, we can now, we can use our tools to letter and beautify this, right? So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and write uh, Christine. Mm 
got it once over there I'm gonna do it again over here and so this project was inspired by a lettering book that I have called by hand I'll show it at the end of the bedtime crafting I actually ordered a copy I'm a librarian by day and so I checked it out and then quarantine began so I've had it all of quarantine um, and so now you know I said oh I'm planning content for June well let me read through this to see if I could come up with a project that inspires me and so I did so now similar to how we assembled these we're gonna go ahead and assemble this one but before I do that I don't really have any mistakes that I need to cover up right so I'm just gonna show you this white pen just because all right, I want to clean that up in there. And then I got this handy dandy glitter pen. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you guys can really see this, uh, this kind of come together. I'm going to add a little bit of glitter inside these hearts, like so, like that. Let me tell you something. If I could, like, do all of my work business with this pen, I promise I would. color all those in like ma'am we need you to sign for a delivery excuse me let me go get my glitter pen what was that legally blind where she had resumes that smelled like bubble gum and printed on pink paper Because we're also gonna we're gonna use some scissors to give us this handy dandy little ribbon situation. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give this a second to kind of dry, right? And you could also do this on any color cardstock. I have the you the cardstock that I use for most of my paper crafting projects is the Recollections brand cardstock from Michaels. Um, you know, you can't go wrong when you go visit Uncle Mike, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, hit that with some hot glue. Don't wait too long, because it's gonna dry up on you and you're gonna be sad. Center that right in there. I like to give it a little bit of a roll so I've got coverage on all sides. And then we're gonna fold that in just a little bit. Give it just a little bit of pressure. Because we're gonna run, it, run a, a bead of glue, if you will on the inside. So go ahead, run it on the inside, seal that right on together. So it's gonna look something like that. Now you're welcome to leave this like that. You can round it out. If you got some fancy scissors, you wanna fancy the edge up. Um, it's a lot of different ways that we could do this. Um, but right now I'm just going to go with the ribbon way. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to, because I'm a little anal, I'm going to just trim that just a little bit. And really I'm talking about being anal. I didn't even cut this evenly, right? I didn't letter it evenly, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. Like so, like that. right it's crooked but you know it's okay so that is the um because that's your business yes the low-tech way of creating drink tags i use white cardstock a tombow food no suki pen um a jelly roll some scissors hot glue treat sticks imagination and some willpower okay because my child was not letting me be great tonight y'all so, I mean, even if you do the print and cut, and if you want it to just come through, you know, with a little extra bedazzle, you can, you know, hit it with some, you want to make some stars. So, I look forward to um, Juneteenth celebrations this year. Uh, if you don't know what Juneteenth is, you know, hop on Dr. Google. Google will hook you up. Um... And so, you know, you can add a little bit of hand, hand, hand decorated flair to your projects. Um, 
because sometimes it's, you know, I appreciate presenting a high tech and a low tech option with this project. I think the low tech option was actually a bit more soothing uh, because high tech, when I tell you I went through two pieces of car stock earlier and I was about to burn the whole house down and I should have took that as a sign that tonight's bedtime crafting was going to be a situation, but you know, we survived. And so we've got this one. This one was made with my Cricut maker using um, the Cricut's print and cut feature. This was lettered, hand lettered in Procreate, exported, uploaded, you know, refined and designed. And so Bow, that's this one. And like you, you guys saw, this one was made with cardstock using my uh, We Are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard and some scissors. The, actually, these are also We Are Memory Keeper scissors that came with my pom-pom and tassel maker. So, I mean, you know, you can really get wild and crazy with these. You know, you can put a little a little pom-pom at the top, right? A little hacks. I don't even know. You can do, you can do so much with these. Um, but these are the drink stirs. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I said I was going to show you the book that inspired this project. Uh, I've got my work bag next to me. This is the book by hand the art of modern lettering by nicole miyuki santo when i tell you guys i'm always i'm always reading something i'm somebody's modern calligraphy lettering books like i'm always checking them out for my local library i'm a librarian by day just because it's i feel like you know sometimes we don't have to reinvent the wheel um we can reinvent the like reinvent the way it's done um so with this one let me go back. I can show you. Okay, so right, this is what this is the this is it. This is the lesson, right? Drinksters. She gave you a template and really like walks you through all the well, I think she walks you through all the instructions. Okay, yeah. So kind of how it all comes together. This is a very like it's a very analog way to do it. I like this, you know, that way it's cool. But because I've got, I've got the resources, I went ahead and kind of like put my own style on it, right? So again, this one was made with my Cricut Maker. This was made with the We Are Memory Keepers Trim and Cut, Trim and Scoreboard. Um, and, you know, brush pens and a glittery jelly roll because we're kicking it like we're sixth graders. So next time you go to Michael's, go ahead, get you a glitter jelly roll because you're gonna look for a reason to sign something with a glitter pen. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, I will be doing this Saturday's live, actually won't be this live, it's gonna be a recap of all of the video prompts, all of the uh, lettering prompts from my most recent hashtag love your strokes lettering challenge, which is the lettering challenge that I do at the end, the last week of every month. Um, this month's theme is going to be because june is like it's pride and national fruit month i'm gonna do a rainbow fruit lettering challenge i'm really excited about it i've been working on it for two months um <clears throat> and it's real simple but i'm excited anyway um i look forward to you guys participating um if you guys have any questions let me know if you have any projects any inspiration you guys would like me to tackle um let me know uh, i've got a slew of new followers so I look forward to getting to know everybody on fostering a new community. Uh, as it says on my website, welcome to the party. I hope you guys have had a great time. I've had a great time. Uh, my phone is about to die. And uh, I will see you guys same time next week, 9 p.m. Tuesday, Central Standard Time. Good night. <laughs>